Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. K from Collecting Our Angels, Nurturing Our Children. And we are on the next chapter, 21, The Plan. So this is going on after they ate their breakfast. Remember, he's on all of those um, clocks and the big uh, ping pong table is on top to create a... Uh, a table for him. So here we go. The head of the army and the head of the air force stood at attention beside the queen's breakfast table. Sophie was still in her seat and the BFG was still high up on his crazy perch. It took the queen only five minutes to explain the situation to the military men. I knew there was something like this going on. Your majesty, the head of the army said, for the last 10 years, we have been getting reports from nearly every country in the world about people disappearing mysteriously in the night. We had one only the other day from Panama. For the Hattie taste, cried the BFG, and one from Wellington in New Zealand, and said the head of the army. For the booty flavor, cried the BFG. What is he talking about, said the head of the Air Force. Work it out for yourself, the queen said. What time is it? 10 a.m. In eight hours, those nine bloodthirsty brutes will be galloping off to gobble up another couple of dozen unfortunate wretches. They have to be stopped. We must act fast. We'll bomb the blighters, shouted the head of the Air Force. We'll mow them down with machine guns, cried the head of the army. I do not approve of murder, the queen said. But they are murderers themselves, cried the head of the army. This is no reason why we should follow their example, the queen said. Two wrongs don't make a right. And two rights don't make a left, cried the BFG. We must bring them back alive, the queen said. How, the two military men said together. They are all 50 feet high. They'd knock us down like nine pins. Wait, cried the BFG. Hold your horse flies. Keep your skirts on. And I think I, I has the answer to the maiden's heir. Let him speak, the queen said. Every afternoon, the BFG said, all these giants is in the land of Naughty. I can't understand a word this fella says, the head of the army snapped. Why doesn't he speak clearly? He means the land of Nod, Sophie said. It's pretty obvious. Exactly, cried the BFG. Every afternoon, all these nine giants is lying on the ground, snoozling away in a very deep sleep. They is always resting like that before they is galloping off to guzzle another helping of human beings. Go on, they said, so what? So what you soldiers has to do is to creep up to their to the giants while they is still in the land of Nadi and tie their arms and legs with mighty ropes and wonking chains. Brilliant, the queen said. That's all very well, said the head of the army, but how do you get the brutes back here? We can't load 50 foot giants on to trucks. Shoot them on the spot. That's what I say. The BFG looked down from his lofty perch and said, this time to the head of the Air Force, you is having belly poppers. Is you not? Is he being rude? The head of the Air Force said. He means helicopter, Sophie told him. Then why doesn't he say so? Of course we have helicopters. Whoopsie, big belly poppers. Is that what you have? Asked the BFG. Very big ones, the head of the Air Force said proudly. But no helicopter is big enough to get a giant like that inside it. You do not put him inside, the BFG said. You sling him underneath the belly of your belly popper and carry him like a portito. Like a what? Said the head of the Air Force. Like a torpedo, Sophie said. 
Could you do that, Air Marshal? The queen asked. Here's the picture of them talking, and here's him high on his perch. Well, I suppose we could, the head of the Air Force admitted grungingly. Then get cracking, the queen said. You'll need nine helicopters, one for each giant. Where is this place, the Air Force man said to the BFG. I presume you can pinpoint it on a map. Pinpoint, said the BFG. Map? I was never hearing these words before. Is that Air Force bean talking, slush bungle? The air marshal's face turned the color of a ripe plum. He was not used to being told he was talking sludge bungle. The queen and her usual admirable tact and good sense came to the rescue. BFG, she said, can you tell us more or less where this giant country is? No, Magister, the BFG said, not on my Nelly. Then we're jiggered. jiggered cried the giant, cried the army general. This is ridiculous, cried the air marshal. You must not be giving up so easy, the BFG said calmly. The first titchy bobstacle you meet and you begin shouting, you is biff squiggle. The army general was no more used to being insulted than the air marshal. His face began to swell with fury and his cheeks blew out until they looked like two huge ripe tomatoes. Your majesty, he cried, we are dealing with a lunatic. I want nothing more to do with this ridiculous operation. The queen, who was used to the tantrums of her senior officials, The queen, who was used to the tantrums of her senior officials, ignored him completely. BFG, she said, would you please tell these rather dim-witted characters exactly what to do? A pleasure, Magister, said the BFG. Now listen to me carefully, you two hoop bogglers. The military men began to twitch, but they stayed put. I is not having the foggiest idea where giant country is in the world, the BFG said but I is always able to gallop there. I is galloping forthwards and backwards from giant country every night to blow my dreams into little chiddler's bedrooms. I is knowing the way very well. So all you is having to do is this, put your nine big belly poppers up in the air and let them follow me as I is galloping along. How long will the journey take? The queen asked. If we is leaving now, the BFG said, we will be arriving just as the Giants is having their afternoon snoots nozzle. Splendid, said the Queen. They turned to the two military men. She said, prepare to leave immediately. The head of the army, who was feeling pretty miffed by the whole business, said, that's all very well, Your Majesty. But what we are going to do, but what are we going to do with the blighters once we got them back? Don't you worry about that, the queen told him. Well, be ready for them. Hurry up now. Off you go. If it pleases your majesty, Sophie said, I should like to ride with the BFG to keep him company. Where will you sit? Asked the queen. In his ear, Sophie said. Show them, BFG. The BFG got down from his high chair. He picked Sophie up with his fingers. He swiveled his right huge ear until it was parallel with the ground. And then he placed Sophie gently inside it. The heads of the army and the Air Force stood there goggling. The queen smiled. You really are rath a rather wonderful giant, she said. Magister, the BFG said, I was wishing to ask a very special thing from you. What is it? The queen said. Could I please bring back here in the in the belly poppers, all my collection of dreams. They is taking me years to and years to collect, and I is not wanting to lose them. Why, of course, the queen said, I wish you a safe journey. All right, so now we get into the next chapter, which is the capture when they capture him. That one's long, so make sure you have enough time to sit around. Okay. Boys and girls, make sure you're minding your parents, grandma, your aunts, uncles, whoever's watching you. 
Don't forget to take deep breaths. Don't forget to smile. This is getting good. I'll see you next time.